Hello everyone! Today I'll be reading you a story from Richard Scarry's funniest storybook ever. The Unlucky Day Mr. Raccoon opened his eyes. Wake up, Mama, he said. It looks like a good day. He turned on the water. The tap broke off. Call Mr. Fixit, Mama, he said. He sat down to breakfast. He burned his toast. Mama burned his bacon. Mama told him to bring home food for supper. As he was leaving, the door fell off its hinges. Driving down the road, Mr. Raccoon had a flat tire. While he was changing it, his trousers ripped. He started again. His car engine exploded and wouldn't go any farther. He decided to walk. The wind blew his hat away. Bye bye, hat! While chasing after his hat, he fell into a manhole. Then he climbed out and bumped into a lamp post. The policeman yelled at him for bending the lamp post. I must be more careful thought Mr. Raccoon. This is turning into a bad day. He didn't look where he was going. He bumped into Mrs. Rabbit and broke all her eggs. Another policeman gave him a ticket for littering the pavement. His friend, Warty Warthog, came up behind him and patted him on the back. Warty, don't pat so hard. Come, said Warty, let's go to a restaurant for lunch. Warty ate and ate and ate. Have you seen such bad table manners? Take off your hat, Warty. Warty finished and left without paying for what he had eaten. Mr. Raccoon had to pay for it. Just look at all the plates that Warty used. The lunch cost Mr. Raccoon every penny he had with him. What other bad things can happen to me today? He wondered. Well, for one thing, the tablecloth could catch on his belt buckle. Don't you ever come in here again, the waiter shouted. I think I had better go home as quickly as possible thought Mr. Raccoon. I don't want to get into any more trouble. He arrived home just as Mr. Fixit was leaving. Mr. Fixit has spent the entire day finding new leaks. I will come back tomorrow to fix the leaks, said Mr. Fixit. Mrs. Raccoon asked her husband if he had brought home the food she asked for. She wanted to cook something hot for supper. Of course, Mr. Raccoon hadn't, so they had to eat cold pickles for supper. After supper, they went upstairs to bed. There isn't another unlucky thing that can happen to me today, said Mr. Raccoon as he got into bed. Oh dear, his bed broke. I do hope that Mr. Raccoon will have a better day tomorrow, don't you? Mm -hmm.